Tom begins with the fourth anniversary of the Charleston Church shooting. Now there's a documentary showing in select theaters that tells the story of that tragic day. News Channel 6's Devin Johnson is live in the newsroom now. And Devin, what did people think of the movie? Indeed, the movie Emmanuel was in the theater for two nights only. Both showings sold out on Monday afternoon. And tonight is the last showing at the Regal Cinemas. Fans described the movie as a tearjerker, a must-see, and an eye-open experience. It's the violent event that rocked a city in the nation. In 2015, nine African-American churchgoers were gunned down during a prayer service in Charleston, South Carolina. Four years later, a documentary was made to show what happened from the eyes of the victims who survived and their families. I'm going to leave you here to tell a story. And honestly, there was a lot of um, racial disrest across the country, and South Carolina handled it differently through the forgiveness aspect and everybody coming together instead of everybody clashing. Here at Riggle Cinemas, one of the select theaters where the movie is showing, moviegoers tell me what they thought of the movie. Oh, just heartbreaking. Mine's was pure <laughs> One person describes the documentary as a story of justice, love, hate, and the power of forgiveness. It's heart-wrenching, man. I mean, does it, it, but it's uplifting at the same time because you see those people. Some of those people were able to look him in the eye two days later and say, you're forgiven. IMDB gives Emmanuel a rating of 7.6 out of 10. These fans say otherwise. 10. 10. <laughs> 10 plus, all the way. The movie crushed the box office. Tickets sold out almost immediately. Moviegoers tell me those who didn't get a chance to see Emmanuel should. Black bodies. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Everybody needs to see it. They really That's do. Something that you need to see. Especially for something that happened right there in South Carolina. I did reach out to the movie's production companies to see if a manual will be available on streaming sites or have another special showing. They have not responded. Also, all the proceeds from the documentary will go to the families as well as the victims and the three survivors of the Charleston Church shooting. Dee, back to you. All right, Devin, thanks a lot.